Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. First of all, happy Christmas. Hope you all had a nice Christmas and nice time off and holiday. And I hope you got all got spoiled rotten. And today, something else to add to that list is a new locomotive from LSD and Wayside Works. Um, it's known as the Robin, I believe. Um, it's a nice little narrow gauge loco. As you can see, there's quite a few deliveries in the background, but we'll get into that in just a second. I thought I'd set up this little train on this rather crude looking route. Um, I'll tell you why we're not on our usual spot, aka the Lavender Line, uh, in just a second. But first, a new locomotive, like I said, from LSD and Wayside Works, which you can get off of their uh, Wayside Works website. So yeah, it's a little narrow gauge locomotive. It looks superb, first glance. <clears throat> um... I'll show you over the different liveries. So yeah, you get quite a few different liveries, as well as rolling stock, and including, I have to admit, it's probably the first pack of sin from either L LSD and uh, Whiteside well, Works, where it includes locomotive wagons and including track. So it's a new one for me. And uh, talking of track, these are the two types you get, including that one, which we'll be running on. And I think they look quite nice. They look really nice. Now... The reason it comes with its own track is because it's not three foot gauge. Um, I think it said something as like 600 millimeter or something. I, I, I don't know. Maybe 600, 600 mil. Oh, no idea. So it comes with its own track because I did put this down on some three foot gauge and it was considerably under gauge, meaning that the locomotive was actually smaller than the gauge track, smaller than three foot. So. In real life, it would just drop between the rails, and you'd be just stuck, scratching your head, wondering how to get it out. See, so yeah, anyway, sorry. <laughs> uh, liveries, yeah. Got a nice selection of liveries. Uh, we have two dirty variants, which is that one, and a black liveried one we'll get to in just a second. But it's amazing. The amount of detail that have, they're starting to put into these locos. It's... <sighs> I was thinking to myself earlier when I was having a bit of a, bit of a play. They're not messing about anymore. These guys are really, really putting everything and all they've got into every locomotive they build, including the track. I mean, like I said, that's a first for having um, a loco and wagons as well as track. But it's superb, fantastic. Absolutely love it. I mean, rivets and everything is fantastic. The same sort of detailing as uh, uh, Caledonia works and they're really, in my opinion, giving them a run for their money, if, if I'm honest. Superb, fantastic. Yes, we've got that uh, green livery. We have a grey livery. Um, you'll notice as well, you have a bit of a customizable option with these. So what I've done here is laid these three out. So you have the normal cap chimney there with a blast, a blast, brass. I will get my words out in a minute. A nice brass cap on the chimney. You have the traditional stovepipe chimney, and something a bit different with the spark arrested chimney. Looks a tad American and European, which uh, kind of finishes it off nicely. So yeah, as I said, you get different variations, uh, different... Uh, oh, you've got two liveries that are dirty and the rest are all plain. But look at this grey one. It's fantastic, even with, even with the stovepipe chimney. And the name plates and builder's plates are all 3D. That is fantastic, that really is. And it's a bit different from any other locomotive we've reviewed because it has, I believe, joy valve gear, which is what this is. Um, instead of conventional wall shots and Stevensons, that block there tilts either back to go forward or forward to go back. And then that, I believe, expansion, I think it's still called an expansion link, um, <clears throat> moves up and down in said block like so off of the return crank and I'm thus moving the valve in there and it goes chuff chuff and woo woo and it keeps going forwards and backwards so yeah like I keep saying we now have a dirty livery locomotive it looks really good it looks really good I love it I've, I've it's I when I first saw this I really did get excited I, I never usually get excited over add-ons but this has just made my day and my Christmas to be honest I mean, look at the grime, look at the places. You, you can really tell 
on the wheels and it kind of makes the detail pop a bit more compared to a clean locomotive you can see as well if they've tried to clean it but they can't quite get into some places around the injector and stuff like that I believe that's for the sandboxes. Is that for the sandboxes? Is that the filler for the sandboxes? It could be, I think. It really does. It looks superb. Fantastic. I can't put into words how impressed I am with this. With this logo. Um, I did read the manual, believe it or not. Um, they, they've gone into some detail to explain what you need to do to customise them and uh, a bit of history. It, it's nice. It's short, sweet, but very informal. Uh, very f informal or formal? I can't remember. Basically, what I'm trying to say, it's, it's detailed, short and sweet, but it tells you all the information you need to know. Um, so much that there is uh, a few preserved around around the country, mainly in UK, Europe, and a few other places. But this one here is a preserved version that is in Rotterdam, I, I believe. Yeah. I did, I did literally just read the manual, but I, I forget because uh, nerves and stuff. I've made so many videos for this channel, I still get nervous making videos. I know, it's stupid. Anyway, yeah, this one is the preserved version. I tried to pronounce its name. Is it Ed? Ed? Eduard? Ed, I, I think you pronounce it Edward. I think. I, I don't know. I don't know. Ed, Eduard? Eduard? I don't know. Dyslexia is a pain in the backside. But still, I, I love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, we've got another green. I do like this livery. It's a nice sort of European touch for me. But I, if you know me from making a lot of uh, videos, you prefer, you know, I prefer the line variants. It's quite nice. The brown one's quite nice. The blue one, my God, the blue one is just stunning. That, that's giving me uh, Longmore Military Railway vibes, that one. And uh, I might have a crack at making my own livery for it. <laughs> might but I, I did try years ago but i just wasn't very successful and i think the software just wasn't having any of it and here's one of the last ones we have another dirty livery one uh, in black again i really think if you look down at the uh, the valve gear and the buffer beam and all that it really the, the dirtiness of it really makes the detail pop out or stand out rather a bit of a dirty cap on the chimney compared to the others with the brass and again, it's just superb. It really is. Chain uh, couplings, quite different. Definitely different to what I'm used to. Um, and the last two is the clean variant and the red one. I do like the red one, but I, I, if to be honest, I do like all the liveries on this. <clears throat> it's just stunning. It's just amazing. So like I said, you do get... Uh, uh, rolling stock with it. You don't get any passenger carrying stuff as of yet, I don't believe. Um, you just get some freight stuff. So this this is what you get. You get four plank and then you get six plank up there. And uh, you get your empty, you got your uh, milk churns there, you got your coal, and then for a touch of Christmas, why not? One full of presents with a nice little bow, bow around it. But even the uh, wagons, they have their own sounds. They're pretty, they're really good. Superbly detailed. Um, these ones are here I think are unbraked whereas these ones are braked um, and again you've got your empty one you've got your one with the milk churns got coal in it and you've got your presents I do like it it's fantastic it even has a passenger view on there uh, these six planked variants and I like the little touch with the uh, Christmas lights and the wreaths and the presents and all sorts anyway I've waffled on enough let's go over to the train we're driving, and yes, there is another livery, which is the Christmas one, to go with your rather festive rolling stock. It's just superb. I love it. It's very quirky. It's fantastic. So, yeah, let's hop in. Uh, press number one. This is the cab, as you can tell. It's very snug in here. Um, down here is your drain cox, damper. Uh, you press F to open the firebox door, and just tap R to put coal in and tap it off switch it off and then shut the door um, there are a few other things I believe that lever there and that lever there is the water for the left hand and the right hand injectors and um, as you both have steam up here um, 
something different as well is that instead of pressing the handbrake key for the brakes you use the locomotive keys for the locomotive brakes and that is the only brake on this loco there's no handbrake you could probably go into the menu and if you had a braked wagon like the six plank over there over there somewhere maybe you could just go into there put the handbrake on and use that um, reverser is quite a enjoyable looking little thing um, you don't really have many views which kind of disappointing because I would have I would have absolutely loved one with, that was down by the wheels I really would but that's that's all you get I'm afraid but still still you get quite a lot quite a lot of um, uh, range of view around the loco back and front and let's have a look at the exterior so yeah as I said this is joy valve gear uh, I think yeah kind of a bit disappointed in that one actually because that's that animates but the valve gear it doesn't itself but still it's nice to see it actually animate outside the cab um, what about the, what about the brakes yes look at that they've regained some points on the brake rigging so yeah it's superb uh what else to show you oh yes they've even animated the whistle pull cord as well so that's that's your space bar and you press v for short whistles you're gonna get two types uh and i believe from what i read in the manual if you press shift one you get a headlamp at both ends look at that it's brilliant so yeah last thing to just show you is it running around this track then i'll probably end the video there uh yeah so take the video take the video take the break off now believe it or not this locomotive does actually have a couple of interesting features one being simulated uh, steam chest and two apparently when you go under tunnels and bridges um, the smoke effects actually animates as if it was going under a bridge or a tunnel which is I think the first because I think that's something we will know from Train Sim World 3 but I don't think I've ever seen it in Train Simulator Classic so anyway wagons roll Oh, the little linkage on the drain cops is, an is, an is animated as well. Wow, okay. Extra marks there. I do like this view because you can just have your head out and just look at the the steam going by the uh, uh, stuffing gland there. It's a nice touch, it really is.
Now, as you can tell, I've put the uh, loco brake on full because it's not uh, vacuum or air assisted. It's solely on the uh, locomotive. Um, it'd be understandable that this thing takes a while to stop. So you've got to think ahead when driving this thing. But that brake is on fully hard. <laughs> Well, I mean, that's it for this review. Um, I'm actually lost for words about this one. It's uh, Wayside Works and whoever helps him, whether it be uh, LSD and uh, Forth, uh, Dane Forth, all of those guys, and they always, they always surprise me. They always surprise me for what they bring out because they every locomotive I've. I've noticed is always better than the last. Um, not to say that I don't like any of them. I absolutely love all of them for their detail and the fact that they're making stuff that's not actually in mainstream uh, train simulator community. Like, uh, for instance, the Aveling and Porter. That's always been a favourite of mine. I've always wanted one to come to the game. But it's nice to see they're actually getting into some narrow gauge stuff that I don't think anyone else has even thought of nor could be bothered to make. But these guys have done it, and they've done an absolutely outstanding job. They really have. Um, yeah, and as always, it's another free add-on you can download from their um, website. Do get a menu included, and uh, it just opens out, opens up rather um, the fact that you can make your own line using their track, the loco, the wagons. And it's just, like I said, an absolutely outstanding job. Anyway, we're at the end of another video. Thank you so much for watching once again. And uh, like I said at the start, a happy Christmas and a happy new year. And I'll see you in the next one.
and don't worry i have not forgotten about the 100 subscriber special that is coming um, but i did check the channel the other day and i've currently reached 130 subscribers so thank you thank you thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and please continue to like share comment and also please subscribe i'll catch you in the next video see you later bye